What's up everybody? Last week I posted a video about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and its pros and cons and just what I thought about it and I said there was some noise at 3200 ISO and some of you asked if I could do a tutorial on how to remove the noise using DaVinci Resolve. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm also going to repost that handheld footage that I shot last week. Um, for whatever the reason, when I exported it, it was not at a very high quality and it looked like crap. And so I apologize. That'll be at the end of this video so you can see what it really looks like. And then here we go. Let's just dive into some footage that I filmed earlier this morning and then some of the other night shots that I had in my, my previous video. And we'll go through the um, re noise reducer in DaVinci Resolve. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. And this is some footage that I shot this morning. I was doing a quick time lapse um, as I was driving to go run up this canyon. And I just kind of did a quick mount the camera to the windshield using a couple suction cups and then went and did my time lapse. But I want you to be able to see this noise right here in the dark areas. And this is at 3200 ISO shooting 4K DCI um, with no compression. So this is 4K raw DCI. And if I zoom in, and then hit play, you can see all the noise that's there inside the pocket camera. Um, so let me just back this up a little bit. I've done a quick grade to it, nothing pushing it hard or anything, just very basic to bring the colors back to life. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new node, and there's multiple ways to do that, but the easiest way and the most basic is over here, nodes, add serial node. And then we're going to come over here, to this icon right here and click on it. And this is our temporal noise reduction and spatial noise reduction. Both of these are very GPU intensive, just beware. And so what I like to do is zoom in a little bit where you can see it. And I'm gonna zoom in on here. I have my two big monitors so I can see what it does there. But for this purpose, I'm going to zoom in onto the image and then frames. This is how many frames it looks to the forward and how many look frames it looks to the back of where your cursor is selected. I always like to do um, five and then you can play with these settings um, however you like of uh, faster, better, or none. And then uh, the motion ratio, whether it's large, medium, or small, I like to keep it medium. Um, and then here is where you just begin to start playing with things. Um, I have found that if you just mess with Luma and the Chroma, you can already see how it's getting rid of that. So there's nothing. And then if you just slowly pull it up, you can see the noise just be taken away. And lower is always better. So you always want to try to go with the lower number. And so that's actually looking pretty stinking good. So if we come back up here to fit and then hit play, all the noise is gone now. Now, like I said, this is very CPU and GPU intensive, and that's why I'm only going to getting 14 frames on my playback. Um, and then if I stop it and then let's zoom back in to where we were and then hit play, you can see that that noise has greatly been reduced. This camera does have an issue with the red channel and that's been talked about in a lot of reviewers out there. Um, hopefully Blackmagic comes out with a fix for that soon. Now, if this doesn't fix everything, so let's come to this example. Um, and here you can clearly see the noise and I'll hit play so you can see it even more. Here's the noise inside this. If you can see that, um, We'll do, I'm not going to do any grade on this. We're just going to stri dive straight into the temporal noise reduction. Five, and then come in here and play with this until it goes away. And it takes a little bit more to do it. And then hit play, and you can watch it go. If that doesn't fix it and doesn't take care of the majority of the noise, then I like to go into the spatial. And this is a little even more uh, GPU intensive than the temporal, but you can come in here. Let's find a frame where it's a little bit worse. Come in here to the spatial threshold and add a little bit of that. And you can see that even clean it up even more. 
and then if you fit and then hit play the noise is gone basically gone inside and as soon as I can pull fo or grab a focus on that you'll be able to see it there you go and now it's clean super clean black magic image and that is how you use the noise reduction in DaVinci Resolve as how you use the tempo noise reduction, do not look at the screen capture software that I'm using because it's not the best. Um, but I'm going to post the footage at the end of this uh, video so that way you can see how clean you can actually make the image look. And if you actually download the first um, example footage that you could download off the Blackmagic website of the actors inside the room, um, there's one with a woman wearing black pants. And I graded that and colored that forever, trying to figure out how I could get it to be so clean because they said it was super clean at 3200 ISO. And I couldn't until I used the noise reduction and then bam, there was that super clean image that they had, had gotten and put up on their website. And so that's how they're doing it. That's the trick to do it is with using that noise reduction. Um, if you like this video, that's great. I hope you do. I'm mostly putting this out there for friends that have asked me to do stuff. But if you do, I'm going to keep putting things out there Mondays. Um, so subscribe and like. Um, this camera is still awesome. I've been shooting with it more. Um, I can't wait for... I said I was going to get the Blackmagic cage or the um, wooden camera cage. I'm probably going to get the Tilted cage now. Um, it's just cleaner, smaller, it's, looks cool. We'll see how long it takes for him to come out. Um, but it's a rad camera, and if you know the little tricks and tips, you can make it look super good. Um, and then again, I'm also going to post the footage of the handheld stuff that I did um, in the previous video so that you can see that it's really not as bad as it was in that video. So, hope you guys enjoy. Testing out the Black Magic Pocket uh, 4K camera. Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're talking about the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera, brand spanking new. I was lucky enough to get one of the first ones. 